in the greenery of Cape Cod, an auspicious black tie affair, appropriate for those who've never been able to tie one of the things. At last, a bold new collection that celebrates artistic flops, failures and foul-ups, brought to you by the Museum of Bad Art, known simply to its affectionate followers as MOBA. This is the MOBA's Mona Lisa. Um, it's the first painting in the collection and uh, the one that we are the most, uh, obviously the most proud of. The museum's curator, antique collector and art school dropout, Scott Wilson, found Lucy in the field with flowers in a rubbish bin one night four years ago. She seems to be hovering in these daisies, not necessarily sitting. So this particular piece set the standard for bad art? Yes, most definitely. Well, it, it, it definitely just was, uh, at that point, it... Uh, put it in our minds that there must be more stuff out there like this. It appears to me to be like one of those haunted house paintings where uh, the eyes follow you around the room. This is uh, Sunday on the Pot with George, and obviously uh, a stunning, pointless uh, work. Well, it is, it is definitely bad. The other thing that's remarkable is he's got no feet. The Museum of Bad Art, complete with cheap wine and savouries, is now even listed in the Boston phone directory. The Friends of MOBA proudly present the Virtual Museum of Bad Art. Art, 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 art. And like other museums of high repute, it's also available on CD-ROM, a tour through the cyberspace of bad art for followers who can't seem to get enough.